Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot, the first one. Uh, last time we completed the rest, we got through the rest of the levels in World 1, or levels 5 through 9. And now we're going to start the 10th level of the game, or I guess level 2-1, up the creek. Uh, and we start off with Invincibility. And my lives did not reset. They are still at 49. So we move forward. And this level you can actually get all the boxes in one try. You don't have to go to a future level or get anything. If Aku Aku will not protect you from those plants behind me. And when you see this monkey, wait for him to stop, otherwise you'll get bound, ricocheted somewhere. Okay. Oh, okay. 50 lives. Uh, the green ones, uh, they only chomp after you, st uh, step on them. Blue ones are automatic, though, so be careful of them. Oh, jeez, another monkey? Yeah, he's gonna stop in the middle, and then that's where you strike. On the first one, uh, yeah, that was a little tricky for me. A checkpoint? Oh, yeah, the, wait, if that's a checkpoint... Oh, wait, the Tana tokens must be, like, further down. Yeah, those piranha plants back there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. They're not piranha plants, they're just... I don't know what they're... I don't know what they're called. Yeah, the timing... You really have to time it, because the green one comes first, and, of course, the blue one comes second. Alright, back here. A one-up. And, of course, the TNT crate. Just step on it, and then, well, you know, get out of there by using that, uh, jumping crate. If you have to, spin while jumping to get rid of that fish that gets in your way. It might be tricky at first, but once you get used to it, well, you'll be fine. It's a good thing they put you a platform here. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. I had to spin that. Okay, did I just go through the box? Either way, we got a bonus level. Just trying to get through the boxes. And hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just needed to change batteries in my uh, camera. One of them was dying, so I had to switch over to the other ones. And we have 25% complete already. But of course, that's only the number of levels we already have comp we are in. And of course, we only got two of the 26 gems, so... We're not really 25% complete. We still got a long way to go. I, well, not really, but... In terms of the number of gems, I want to say, like, I don't know, uh... What's 2 out of 26 equal to? I know 13's half, and I know 6 is 25% of that. I want to say, like, I don't know, 10%? <sighs> Oh, jeez. The timing. Oh, no. Okay, good. I thought I got 
I thought it got swallowed up there for a second. But we finished the level. There were no gems, hidden gems in that area, so we got our third gem of the game. So now we're okay. Three gems completed. Still got tw the other 23 levels. 23 of the t 26 levels to complete gems. Level 11, Ripperoo, a boss battle, or I guess level 2 dash boss. Well, there's two boss battles here in this world, so I can't consider this 2 dash the boss battle. I'm just gonna, num like I said, I'm just gonna number it by level numbers and one by one. And to defeat Ripperoo, you have to time that TNT right so that way it blows up on Ripperoo. Only three hits he takes. And that was a piece of cake for me. But there you go. I took I took him out with no time at all. <laughs> okay. Level twelve is the lost city. And this is a level you have not seen before. It's kind of like ruins, but I don't know. More scary looking ruins. And yes, if you're going to get all the boxes in this level, you have to jump around those steel crates. Instead of take the easy way back. Yeah. Although this game is hard, I think this is I think this level is like part of the game where it gets harder. Level 12 and onward. And trust me, I don't even want to think about the hardest level in this game. Uh, jump while jumping on that, uh, steel, on that wooden box, because you just saw some exclamation marks up there. Yeah, this box right here was blocked. It's the only way to get that Brio token, although it doesn't mean anything. It will, if anything, it will give you, well, a gem in this level. Right up here. Aku Aku. Whoa! Uh, if you spin the bats on the sides, they'll go away. Oh god. Oh, look, a katana token. Don't bother spinning the bats, all those bats that are flying around because they'll, they'll respawn back. But if you spin the ones on the sides, then the then the bats will turn into wumpa fruit, and there you can collect wumpa fruit. Yeah, had to jump on that enemy to get that real token. Uh, yeah, these platforms they can be a little bit tricky. Checkpoint, fortunately. Another lo one up. 65 already? Wow. Okay, yeah, I can hear the boxes that are popping up. They're actually popping up through that, uh. I don't know what it's called. But there's our third Brio token. And we found that first before the other Tona token. But here's the other real level in the game. Hopefully I get through it and show you it off. If not, I've done this many times before. I'm sure I can get through this one. I had to get through that one barely. 
Yeah. It's a good thing they give you uh, lives at the end of the level. 72 lives. Okay. I'm, I'm not here on a mission to get you to 99 get to 99 lives or anything. I probably won't unless I... I don't know. Like I said, your lives reset back to 4. Wow. You get a lot of lives in this game now I think about it. But I guess it's a good... Oh, crap. I need to wait for it. Okay, go. <laughs> Probably if they go all at the same time, that's when you leave. Wait for it. Go. Okay, there we go. These ones you just gotta get by fast. And we just gotta wait for it. Alright, there we go. Step on them, don't spin them because the, those reptile looking creatures will just knock you back. Just like the monkeys in up the creek and upstream. Tana token! Yep. So now we got our third Tana token. We got a bonus round. Uh, this one! It's just nothing but boxes. There are no steel box platforming levels. Be careful! If you jump on these, uh... St uh... Wow. If you jump on the, uh... S spring boxes... Then you'll probably take out those ones on the top instead. And yeah, I just made a stunt move right there in that level. But I got all the boxes in level. Uh, but oh yeah, one more thing. Getting all those boxes in the level doesn't mean anything. It's just, I guess, more. I guess one per fruit, and I guess one ups. I guess. Because unlike the ones in Crash Bandicoot 2, 3, and 4, getting all those boxes in the level doesn't matter. Oh god, <laughs> I almost fell there. That platform kind of pushed me back. I'm just gotta wait for that creature. Alright, there we go. Now I just gotta wait for the timing. Yeah, that gives us a bunch of Wumpa fruit. For some reason, it actually glitches to, uh, break the boxes for you. But oh well. We made it through the level. We made it in one try. We got the gem. The thing is about this gem, it's a green one. So yeah, four gems and that's the green one. So... Now we can actually go to level 2 and actually get all the boxes there. There are a few more levels we can actually get the boxes too. Uh, I think we'll do... I don't know. Should we do Temple Ruins or should we go back to uh, Jungle Rose and get the gem? Maybe we should do both? I don't know. Um... Sure, alright. Well... I... Well, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What... Should we do... Maybe I should... Maybe I should do both. Maybe I should do both. So... Yeah. Let's go back to level 2 first and get that gem here in the jungle level where all those stones... So yeah, we're back here in level 2. And I guess I'll meet you up where the gems are. Alright, I'm here at the checkpoint. And yeah, 
you can see there's a green gem right up here. It will take you up here to this little steel box. And yeah, if you spin just right before the box, you can actually just land on there. So yeah, these are the three boxes we were missing in this level. I guess you don't have to watch me do the rest of the level, so yeah. So I guess I'll meet you at the end. Alright, I'm here at the end of the level. And we achieved another gem. So that's five gems already. So we got five down, we still got 21 more gems left. Of course we got the two keys to get and, well, the rest of the levels in the game. Uh, we can actually do temple ruins in this part, so we're not going to stop here. We're going to go to the temple. But from there, that, that'll be our last thing we're going to do. Level 13, Temple Ruins. And you haven't seen this level. This level is not like any of the other ones. You're in a temple. Just like the title so <coughs> tells you. I don't think there are any tokens in this level. So... Whoa! I thought I jumped there early. I guess not. So yeah, a level like that you haven't seen, it's not like any other level levels that you have seen yet. Yeah, it's a temple level. Jump on the snake. Try not to spin it. Well, I don't know. Well, you might ricochet yourself if you spin the snake, but I don't think you'll get hurt. Like I did the first time when like I did when I stepped on it. Thing is when you when getting rid of that snake, jump early. Because I did not last uh, that time you saw there, I did not. And hopefully I did not fall. Uh, yeah. I'd say this, yeah, this part of the game... I'd say level 12 and onward, especially. That's where the game really gets harder. If you think some of the other levels are hard, try these ones on for size. They'll just... I don't know. I don't know. Although I've gotten all the gems in this game. Still, I... Dang it! I jumped early. Uh-oh. I hope this is not where I get my fails and stuff. You'll probably see that later in the game, but... Not this level, hopefully. And I just gotta wait for the bats to show up. Oh, there they are. And I just gotta... There we go. Oh, what's this? An apple off a... Hidden platforms. Yes. These are hidden platforms. If you don't know. You might be tempted, but... Yeah. I just gotta get through the rest of the level. Yeah, sure. Why not? Break the box. Don't get any apples. Oh, I was at 99? Dang. Eighty-eight lives. Wow. Considering that my batteries don't... falter... I might get to 99 lives. Otherwise, I'll just stop the recording session and just reset back to 4. Just gotta get through these 
progressed to this level. Hmm. Six more minutes. Okay. This this part might be a little longer. It might be twenty minutes. But we'll put, we're almost there. Ninety-four lives. Wow. Okay, so with that level out of the way, that's our sixth gem. Okay, it skipped 2% that time. It went up to 34% instead of 33. But okay. So in the next part, we'll be going through the rest of World 2, more likely. And we'll start on the road to nowhere. Yeah, nowhere, road to nowhere. So thanks for watching. My Let's play a Crash Bandicoot. This part of Crash Bandicoot. This has been Drew Mario 1306. And I'll see you in the next part.